Hello and welcome to this video. Today, today we are going to be trying out a new palette. Now this is the new palette from Anastasia or Anastasia and a... You know the brand, this this one. This one right here. Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills? Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the new palette, the Soft Glam palette. So when I saw this come out, I wasn't actually that excited about it, simply because everyone knows the past of Anastasia palettes. The first one, the Modern Renaissance, which I actually have, is amazing. This is my favorite palette. You can tell which colours I've used the most. It's just, this, oh, these eyeshadows just took every box that you would want. They're creamy, they're blendable, they're so pigmented. It's just, this is, this was an amazing palette. And then of course came Subculture. Infamous Subculture, which was just everyone's worst nightmare, apparently. Some people liked it, but I heard that there was a bad batch and that seemed to be the ones that every YouTuber got. And all the reviews were like terrible, patchy, Blah, blah 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 just bunch of bad stuff and then of course there was a palette after that the prison palette which i heard mixed reviews about some people said it was much better than subculture some people said it was not as good as modern renaissance but not as bad as subculture so i feel like at this point with anastasia palettes you don't really know what you're gonna get you can only hope for the best okay so here it is here's the soft glam palette it has the same packaging as the modern renaissance it has that velvety packaging really really nice feeling And then it has soft glamour in, obviously. And then you open it up and it has very warm colours. So of course this is very different from the subculture and prison palettes. In terms of colours, this is more like neutral pinky brownie shades, whereas those two palettes tended to be more blue and green. Don't get me wrong, they're beautiful colours, but I don't feel like they work for an everyday. I feel like those palettes were geared more towards like professionals or people that go out a lot and like to wear a lot of makeup on their eyes but for more of an everyday like just going to work going to school type of thing i think this is a perfect palette it's got a lot of neutrals and i think this will be much more up everyone's street that one i'm trying to say i feel like this is much more appealing from like a you can use this a lot whereas those palettes were like novelty palettes but i mean no offense if you love those palettes then then that's awesome but you know what i'm trying to say before we start, let's say a quick prayer. Please be good, please. Okay, so of course I will be doing swatches so that you can see all the colours, but first let's just see how they work, see if they blend, all the good stuff. I'm really scared about this. I haven't worn eyeshadow in a really long time. I just feel like it takes the longest and when I'm just going like out to uni and school, to uni and school? To uni or just like to the shops or something, I really can't be bothered to put eyeshadow on and oh, I'm scared. This might be a disaster. I'm not going to do anything too intense because um, I suck. And I'm out of practice, but of course I'm going to gonna try and do a look so we can see how as many shadows work as possible. Okay, so I'm just going to set that down with the... Oh, I fucking open it! The Cat 1D shade and light contour palette. Just because I don't have any brushes here in one second. You could obviously use an eyeshadow for this, but I like using this palette because I feel like it adds a tiny bit more coverage, which as you can see from my eyelids, I really need that because my veins just, they're trying to jump out of my face and attack you, is what it looks like. They're very prominent. Okay, so we're all set and we're ready to go. I'm excited, I'm scared, and I need to stop talking, so let's go. Okay, so I'm looking at the palette and honestly, I don't know what I want to do, what colours. There's oranges, there's pink, so I might do what I did in a previous video and do one eye, what am I, what am I trying to say? The two eyes different, so I might do one orangey and one pink, which is going to look terrible if I have to go out, but <laughs> it's okay, we'll do it. We'll do it for the test. I'm doing it for you. Okay, so the first colour I'm going to go in with is orange soda. As a transition shade, I'm just going to use this big fluffy brush just to sweep it into the crease. So I'm just going in a few times because it's not too pigmented, but it's a nice amount of pigment. So it's not just like pfft, straight on your eye. Bearing in mind that I am just dipping in once, it is giving off a nice amount of pigment, not too much, not too little. I always prefer to build up because I feel like I have more control that way. Whereas when I get too much shadow on my lid, I, 
I get confused, I get overwhelmed and it just, I mean not to say this is going to end up a mess because it is me who's doing it, but it'll be better I think than, um, I don't know. Okay so now I'm going to go in with a bit of burnt orange and just put that in my crease also but a bit lower so this is going to go right in the socket whereas the other colour was a bit, a bit everywhere, a bit, a bit of a mess which is how I like it. Okay, so as you can see, that was just like one dip and then pff, this colour is really pigmented. The colour payoff is really nice and it seems to be blending out rather nicely too, so that's all looking good. But I did kind of expect that this shade would be good because it is one of the shades in the Modern Renaissance. One of the shades that I use a lot it is very nice and it seems that it's the same formula, so that's a good thing. I think that's sufficiently blended for the time being. I'm just gonna go in with, which glittery color should we do? <laughs> They're all so pretty. Ooh, I think I'm gonna try and do a sort of halo eye. We'll see how that goes because as I said, I haven't done my shadow in a long time and that's a bit optimistic. But I'm gonna go in with glistening, ooh, glistening first, just in, in an outer corner. And then I'm gonna put bronze, Halo. I'm not dipping my brush in any fix plus just to see how these work. Okay, so without any fix plus, they actually give off a really nice sheen. That is really nice shimmer. It's not chunky or anything. This could also be a really nice highlight. I think it's just the right amount of shimmer. No like big particles. Better nice. Now I'm gonna go in with some of bronze which actually looks like a glitter this one and just pack that. Yeah. Ooh so that is just a touch darker than the other shade but it's much more vibrant I feel like. I really like that shade. Very nice. And I'm also just going to take that on the outer corner. Now I'm just going to go back to the big fluffy brush and take some orange soda and just use that to mix everything together. Okay, so I think for now I'm quite happy with this eye. You might think it looks like crap, but this is the best I can do. And we're just going to move on to the other eye, which is the pinkish eye. Well, it's going to be the pinkish eye. Right now it's just the scary looking eye. And the first colour I'm going to go in with on this side is Dusty Rose. And I'm going to use this as the transition. Then I'm just going to take that slightly smaller pointed brush and dust it off and then go back into Dusty Rose and just build that up in the crease. There isn't really a medium pink shade but this colour is very pigmented and when you build it up you can get a deeper colour so yes it can be used as a slightly deeper shade. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go into a lid on this side and I'm pretty much gonna do the exact same thing. I wouldn't call this a halo eye, but I'm gonna do this sort of thing on this side, but with pink. So I'm gonna go with rose pink and put that in the inner corner. Ooh, that is so big. This colour is very similar to Dusty Rays, which is the shimmery version. That is beautiful. And then I'm just gonna go in with Sultry, which is the darker, very, the darker, the darker, very, 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 very shimmery shade. It almost looks like glitter. And just pack that on the outer corner. So this time around, I'm not even gonna try and halo. I'm just gonna pack the deeper shade all on the outer. Today, haloing is not really working for me. Okay, so now on this side, I'm just going to go in with some of Mulberry. Right on the end, and just deepen my outer corner with that. If you're like me, you've ruined the entire look. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with a clean brush and try and rectify the situation. And then I'm actually just gonna do the same thing on the other eye with um, the two shimmery shades. So I'm gonna brighten up Fairy. And then I'm going to do bronze. Okay, so for now I'm gonna leave them as is and I'm just gonna put my foundation on and then we'll do the underneath for my eyes and then we will summarize and swatch. See you then. So I'm back, ready to do the under eyes. And I had forgot how much I hate putting eyeshadow on and then doing my face makeup. I feel like I messed it up so much. Not that it wasn't already messed up, but <laughs> it looks even worse now, but it's fine, just 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 pretend it looks good and I mean, it's a review video and I can tell you that these shadows all blended beautifully and they look beautiful, just my application is shitty, so... It's good shadows, so far. And now we move on to the fun part, which um, I mean sarcastically because underneath my eyes is the worst part for me. I just suck at it. I end up looking like I have the biggest eye bags or I've been punched in the face. Two of my favourite things. Oh wait, I forgot my eyebrow gel. Priorities, you know? Okay, now the brows are done. Ooh, this is intense. Okay, so on the orange side, this side, I'm gonna go in with this slightly fluffy little brush and I'm gonna take some more orange soda and I'm just gonna put that down basically everywhere, just as the transition shade, but for under my eye. I'm sort of going to bring that down a bit, just just so you can see it when I layer other colours on top. That'll do because I am terrified. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go really simple and I'm going to take some burnt orange and just smudge that closer to my lash line. And I'm also going to keep this on the outer edge. Then I'm just going to go back to that fluffy brush with nothing on it and just smudge those two in together. And I think that will do for now because I don't want to mess it up. I'm just going to dust off that brush which for me that's just gross. And then I'm going to take some of Dusty Rose and do the same. Just put a nice base layer down. This shade is much darker so be a bit careful. Alternatively, if you want to use a different palette, um, 
I mean, if you have another palette which has a lighter pink, you could use that instead. But obviously I just wanted to keep it to this palette, seeing as though it's a review. So I'm just going really light handed so that I can smudge it out and it'll be a lighter shade. And then I'm going to take that small shader brush and go in with Dusty Rose again. But this time I'm going to really pack it on. And just on the outer corner. And then for this eye I think I'm actually going to go with a bit of Mulberry as well just for the added dimension and just put that really close to the lash line on the outer corner you only need a tiny tiny amount because this shade is very pigmented in fact they're all extremely pigmented i think orange soda is the one that's the most um what's the word i don't want to say bland it's the most it's the least pigmented but it's still very nice amount of pigment and I feel like it's perfect for that shade but yeah what I was trying to say is these are really pigmented so you want to be careful I think I'm actually just going to go into the orange side and add a bit more orange soda just on top just use it to bring everything down a little then I'm just going to take a pencil brush and go in with some of my highlighter that I used on my face and just bring that in the inner corner of both of these looks just to brighten it up a tad a tad okay so I'm just gonna add some mascara and then I'll be back to summarize so I'm back and the look is complete well I mean the looks are complete just just imagine this off and this off and I'm pretty happy with them to be honest and I'd say it's all down to this palette because as I said previously, I really suck at putting eyeshadow on and I haven't done it in a long time, but these really made it easy. If I had to compare it to another palette, I would compare it to the Modern Renaissance, which is of course Anastasia's like most, what's the word, most famous palette. Like this is definitely the best one in my opinion and I think in a lot of people's opinion. And in terms of the quality of the shadows, these are very comparable. It does actually have some of the same shades, so maybe it's the same formula. But these are really good shadows they're very pigmented they're very buttery they blend beautifully and i suck at blending so if i can blend and it looks like it looks seamless it looks a bit probably a bit weird but that's but that's my fault that's user error but they were just so easy to work with like this this might be my new favorite eyeshadow palette which is really sad because this is not actually mine my sister's but i think the shadows are really nice they're super pigmented bearing in mind that when i put the pigments on i didn't use any fix plus i just put them straight on and they're still very like vivid and yeah i really like it <laughs> i keep saying the same things over again but basically very blendable they're very creamy pigmented i actually had no fallout so that's really good and yeah this anastasia palette is amazing this one has a definite thumbs up this isn't another subculture this one is another modern renaissance which we all know is just just amazing a good thing this is beautiful okay so now moving on to the swatches so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to swatch all the colors on my arms as usual as you would imagine swatches so you can assess the color payoff i'm only going to dip my finger in once and just swirl around a bit and then okay so here are the swatches i will of course insert the names of all the colors um please ignore this bit here this is actually just my skin it's very red <laughs> but as you can see you can see that they're all intensely pigmented. As I said, I only dipped my hand in once and then just swirled around. And this is the color payoff, which is amazing. A lot of palettes wouldn't deliver this. And as you can see, they're really creamy. Like even if I just drag it down, it like I can drag it down even though I've done that swatch because they're so crazy pigmented and creamy that they're just really easy to blend work with. And you get a lot of payoff from just one. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, these are all the shades swatched with a finger. Okay, so that's the end of this video. If you couldn't tell, I really love this palette. It's amazing. It definitely is, well, I don't know if it definitely is, but it seems to be the same formula as Modern Renaissance. All the colors are really blendable. None of that patchiness from the previous palette, which subculture, nothing like that. This is an amazing palette, really nice colors. If you're into neutral, 
neutral shades like pinky oranges and you want an everyday palette, this is definitely the palette for you. I mean, you could tell from the application, the blendability, the pigment. Also from the swatches, just, just if you were thinking about getting this palette but you had some reservations because you thought maybe it's not as good um, as like the modern renaissance, maybe it's a subculture, but it's not, it's amazing. So yeah, I hope that helps you if you're planning on buying it or thinking about buying it and yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. Yes, okay. Thank you for watching again and bye. Oh, ignore my finger swatches. <laughs>